we are. I have had a stressful evening. My technology was bugging out on me. It was failing on me. The devil tried it, you know? He really tried to stop this meaningful video from going through. And it brought up a whole feeling of overwhelm, anxiety, concern, uncertainty, all of the things that you would feel in a pandemic. You know, we would feel uncertain in a pandemic, we would feel anxious in a pandemic, and we'd also feel that coming out of it. And that is what I would like to talk about in this video. Um, I just want to take a pause for that synoptic link quickly and how beautiful that was because I linked that together perfectly. It was fluent, it was beautiful, that was ASAR English material. <laughs> I know, I got an A star. And I, by the way, I don't know if you guys do want a video on that, like A levels, but I'm kind of going to be talking about that in this video because obviously it is normality after a pandemic, but this is most definitely applying to those of you who are starting A levels, who are starting GCSEs, who are starting uni, or just in school in general and are just trying to get back into it. I could do it overall, but I can't really relate to work, you know, because I work from home, so... I don't actually have to see anyone, thank the Lord. If after this video you still do want more in-depth help about the subjects that I took, which is English, RS and Sociology, let me know because this is a very stressful time for all of us and I want to make sure that I at least be some type of help for you easing back into normality. So, the first thing I want you guys to really ingrain into you is that every single person is dealing with the same stress as you. The whole world is dealing with this right now it's not just you and I don't know if that is any help to you in any way but especially when it applies to school and you're worried about making friends fitting in doing the work right everyone else is worried about making friends everyone else is afraid of them not being able to do the work right because we've literally been cooped up for five months so obviously because of that because everyone is going through the same thing of trying to get back to normality my main thing that I want to project in this video is to ensure that you guys don't strive for perfection you literally have gone through a pandemic do you get it you literally have gone through the most uncertain period of your life so ciao cut yourself some slack don't try and go into college trying to get all these a stars trying to revise straight away trying to get all the homework in perfect don't do that and this applies to every year anyway when you start school stop trying to think of the big picture of exams of a levels of gcse's of good grades of assignments being due of a promotion if you're at work when you first start because it really is how you start off is how you're going to finish if you start off stressing yourself out about the bigger picture how are you going to end if you set yourself up with realistic goals and realistic expectations expectations of your progress you are going to work at a steady and smart pace you have to remember that working hard does not benefit you a lot of the time working smart benefits you think about organizing your stuff and that is a key thing if you're starting a levels right gcse's as well but most definitely a levels because the content that is a lot of content i don't want to stress you guys out i do want to say though even though i'm telling you to slack a little bit right now don't not work because that's not what i'm trying to tell you i'm not telling you to not work to not show up to lessons to miss homeworks but i'm telling you not to put stress on yourself organization is key i don't know what other people say about a levels but for me if i have my folders all set out if i have my work in the right places if i've made notes and flashcards from way before it's going to be so much easier when it comes to revising so right now if you are an a level student and a gcse student but most importantly a levels because that's obviously a lot more content make sure you know where your notes are you know where your handouts are you file things away by topic or by date whatever is best for you i'd say by topic because you might go back to things in the future you know if you just had a lesson and your notes are messy just write your notes out neat that's all you need to do right now just make sure your resources are good enough for when it's the end of the two years and you sit down and you need to revise you can get out your folder open it up and everything is where it needs to be worst thing you want to do it when you start a levels is to not organize your stuff and when it comes to revision you literally have to make your folder and your notes nice that's not revising that is organizing and that should have been done throughout the two years if you start this year with organization girl you're gonna have 
a great time. I feel like striving for perfection is the biggest, one of the biggest causes for anxiety, especially when it comes to anxiety in school, performance, you know, grades and whatnot. You have to realize that going crazy actually makes it worse for not only your grades, but also your mental health. I feel like performance right now should not be your main thing to look at anyway, especially after this whole pandemic. Just try and fit in in school, you know? Try and get to know your teachers, try and make some friends. Yes, get your homework done. Yes, organize things. But as I said, cut yourself some slack. You cannot work productively and efficiently if your mind is clouded. So the next topic that I wanna talk about is worries about fitting in and making friends, which is something that a lot of people have talked to me about. And this one is a harder one because I almost have to slap you in the Ooh. face in order for you to actually be good in this area, which sounds very mean. All I'm trying to say is that you're gonna have to change your mindset about some things and you're gonna have to be open to face uncomfortability. I don't wanna pull off your frontal right now. But no, it's yeah. the shade, the shade, the shade. But I also don't wanna stroke it like everything is gonna be okay. So what one do you prefer? Pull off your front or and actually reveal some truth or stroke it and then make you feel better for now but actually ruin your future in the long run. That would be fake of me. I'm that friend that will tell you that you look bad in that dress to actually help you in the future. I will not sugarcoat things. So if you wanna find a YouTuber that sugarcoats things and you can go find them, but I'm gonna pull off your frontal, okay? But then I'm gonna tell you the tools on how to put it back on and make it slay, make those edges look snatched. The first thing that I wanna say is to stay true to yourself. And <laughs> this is a very cliche thing and people say that all the time and like, just be yourself and you'll be fine. I think people don't actually realize the depth of being yourself and how not being yourself can get you caught into shenanigans and issues and problems that you should never have been in. We try to be someone that we're not to try and fit in. And after a pandemic and after not being around people for ages, we kind of do become a bit lonely and maybe a bit desperate for some friends. And that is understandable. I'm not saying that you're in the wrong for feeling like that because ciao, it's been a long time. But what I am trying to say is that you should never compromise yourself just to get friends. Because when you do that, it is all fun and games at the time because now you've got this new friendship group. Now you feel like you fit in. Now you feel like you're one of them but then it gets hard to attain. And then you may have become friends with the wrong people and you may have become friends with people that are gossipy, who start drama, who leave you out, who may bully you when they find out who you really are because it's hard to attain. Who wants to try and keep up a false image? And then you've gotten yourself into all this mess that you wouldn't have gotten into if you were just yourself and you found people that accept you for who you are. I've said this in videos before and I will say it again and again until you guys get it. We often do strive for Instagram gratification as I said it's all fun and dandy at the time when you've made some friends but then as things go on it then isn't great because you haven't set things up for the future you've just set things up to make you happy in the now and this is what I meant earlier about facing uncomfortability you're gonna have to realize that you may not have that massive group of friends you may just have one or two close friends you may not fit in at all in college I would actually rather be on my own and I was on my own a lot of the time in college, ciao. I enjoyed my time. When you do get into these things, not only does it affect your relationships, it affects how you see yourself, your mental health, and evidently it affects your grades. So you don't want to make you know, quick decisions based off of how you feel in the moment, that's going to affect you in the long run. Please don't do that. Please be smart about the people that you hang around with because some people are toxic. I have a video on toxic friends if that's something that you're interested in because these people can ruin you and you don't want that. I'm not trying to even over exaggerate because some of you girls are horrible and you ruin lives, all right? I don't want none of my home girls watching my videos to get into that mess. It's upsetting me in my home girl who wants to have friends based off of a fake version of themselves find friends that love you for you support you for you and if that's something that you struggle to do maybe look deeper in yourself and try and think why do i need validation from other people why do i need a massive group of friends to make me feel validated you know um i have a video on confidence if that's something you guys want to look into i will leave a card 
whatever side it is i'm not even gonna, i'm not even going to try to tell you where the card is because i always mess up every single time but there will be a card i don't mean to just expose every part of you right now but sometimes there are deeper issues inside of you as to why you feel like you need friends you know because sometimes it is that you feel me you feel me uh moving on to making friends you're gonna have to speak up but that's the first thing I can't hold. Speak up, talk to people, go out of your way to start conversations and if that's not something you like to do, I'm sorry because you're going to have to do it. And that, again, I pulled your frontal off but girl, I'm going to give you the got to be glue and the edge brush and you're going to slay that wig back on, okay? You need to get out of your comfortability of expecting people to come to you. If you see someone in your class sat next to you, perfect opportunity. Hey, how are you? What did you do this summer? How did you find the pandemic? Are you stressed about um, college or uni or whatever? What other courses are you taking? Blah, blah. Don't get all up in their business but that's just a few questions that you can ask just be nice enough to show them that you're invested in their life because another thing to keep in mind which is what i said right at the start everyone else is going through the same thing as you you will probably make that person's day if you start speaking to them about whatever more likely than not that person was just as anxious as you about starting college they didn't know that anyone was going to talk to them they were worried and then you've walked up and changed their life you know, this is more than you, child. I know that's not something you wanted to hear. I know you probably thought that I was gonna give you some strategy on how to attract all these friends without even opening your mouth. If you do have a strategy for that, let me know because I don't like to open my mouth either. Other ways of making friends, you can join clubs, especially in uni. That is a very good way to make friends in uni. I know my friends that are in uni and they have made great friends from joining like ACS and stuff like that. And if you're someone that has social anxiety and I did, I'm not just saying this like, I just heard that this is the case. No, I know that this helped dramatically. I still do feel a bit anxious every now and then around people, but I've kind of learned now if I feel anxious, around someone that's because you have bad vibes i have this like sixth sense i just wanted to check that out there because that is absolutely revolutionary i sense demons i sense them anyway for me getting over my social anxiety was literally talking to people going places i had to realize that the only way you can overcome your fears is to do what makes you scared you didn't want to hear that and you didn't but it will change your life Okay, so to end this video, I want to give you some tips that you can use during this new season to ensure that you're thriving mentally. So these are just some things that you can do every day, insert into your routine, just to keep your mind right. The first one is keep a journal to track your progress and thoughts. I have a journal and I think it's really helped me because I look back and I'm like, wow, you were a mess. And now look at where you are, because sometimes we are very hard on ourselves and we think that we haven't gone too far, but then really and truly we have actually gone way further than we have. And this leads on to the second one, which is congratulate yourselves for small achievements. As I said, we strive for perfection, but we forget to applaud ourselves for the little things that we do. Try and see yourself as not a superhero, but as a human. You are a human and you did that. The third one is, instead of beating yourself up for mistakes, take it as a lesson and try and see how you can learn from it. It is very, very, very important, especially through school. If you don't do well, if you don't get a good grade, turn your mistakes into a lesson. Moving on, get a planner and write out what you need to do and when, and don't pack it with too much to allow yourself to recharge. Do not try and do all this heavy revision at the start of college, the start of uni, the start of school. Just try and be realistic. Number five, write down daily affirmations and speak them every day. This is important because understanding the power of your words will get you very far in life. So write down affirmations like I am beautiful, I can succeed because even if you don't agree with it right now, speaking something, there's literally like a scientific explanation from it. When you speak something, it goes into your ears. When it goes into your ears, it goes into your brain. Your brain processes it and then you believe it. If you keep saying it, you will believe it. Words are powerful. And this leads on to the last one, which is watch your mental diet and understand what you consume will impact the health of your mind. What you speak impact the health of your mind. What you watch impact the health of your mind. What you listen to impact the health of your mind. The people that you surround yourself with impact the health of your mind. Try and be positive and healthy with every single outlook 
of your life whatever you consume is sure that it is a positive thing that goes into your brain and do this every day this isn't something that is going to like help you straight away this needs to be a routine and it requires discipline but it will help you so much like these last tips yeah imperative for the rest of your life that is the end of the video i really hope that helps you i really hope that you feel a bit less stressed for school and college let me know in the comment section what year you're going into what you know gcse's a levels uni courses you're doing love you guys stay safe stay motivated stay blessed and i will see you guys in the next video bye